Make your selection. One or two. Hello. Welcome aboard. So, you'd be last in line to be first. I'm not sure you understand the concept of first, but I think the floor you've chosen will help clear things up. How many of you are there? Three is the magic number. Yes, it is. Let me know if this is the first time on the ride for any of you. Are there any new... Okay, don't worry about a thing. We'll be sure to give you all the instructions you need. Our host will show you the ropes and the cables. That's just a little joke. May I have your name now, Player One? Okay, that's fine. What about your name, Player Two? Thank you. And now it's Player Three's turn. Go ahead. How gracious of you. Thanks. You'll be buzzing in with the letter Q, player one. Q as in Quonset Hut. Player two, please use the letter B as your buzzer. That's B as in Beckenbauer. Frog Beckenbauer. Player three, your buzzer is the letter P as in Parachute Pants. Enjoy the ride. See you at the bottom. where high culture and pop culture collide. You Don't Know Jack is sponsored by my first first aid kit. It's fun to have boo-boos. And now, here's your host, Cookie. First of all, I'd like to welcome you three to the game. And remember, it's not whether you win or lose. It's about being number one! <laughs> Okay, first off, gotta give you your screws. Here's the lunch for all three of you. Now listen up, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm passing these out. The first time a question comes up that you think might be on the difficult side, buzz in immediately and start pounding on the S key. That's S for screws. You're gonna be shooting these puppies into the screen, totally annihilating the question and answers. Then you're gonna make your opponent answer the question whether they can read any of it or not. So if you're not the one pounding on the S key, you better be trying to read everything fast before it's gone. And that's Blackjack. <laughs> Okay, now remember, first impressions are always important, so don't embarrass yourself in the first question. Let's ride. Player two, Hitman! Let me just say, eh. Anyway, let's see the category. First, I turn on the TV. And now, the question. Which one of these pairs does not list the first thing first? Beverly Hills 90210 Melrose Place? The Simpsons Beavis and Butthead? Sesame Street The Electric Company? All yours, please. This wrong answer was brought to you by the letter N and the letter O. <laughs> Player two, it's you. No, 90210 came first, Melrose came second, and then I began hanging Heather Locklear posters on my bedroom wall. Just so we're all straight on how that happened. <laughs> Player three, do it! Go! <laughs> what the hell am I doing? That didn't sound like Beavis at all. It sounds like Pat. God, that was terrible. That doesn't really matter. You got it wrong anyway. Oh, boy. Dallas came before Dynasty. Don't you even care who shot JR? What happened to you? Where's your compassion? Player three, poke your buzzer and give us a value for this question. Hey, you can live on that. Here's your category. Motley Crue plays its first bar mitzvah. So, speaking of my future wife, Heather Locklear, I want you to look at this analogy and tell me which answer best completes it. Heather Locklear is to rocker Tommy Lee as Lilith of Jewish legend is to whom? Adam, Jesus, Abraham, or Richie Sambora? Player one, hit it. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Take a shot, player two. Jesus! <laughs> player three, it's up to you, player three. Richie Sambora? You know something? You give trivia a bad name. 
And here's the apparently very challenging correct answer. Before Pamela Anderson, Heather Locklear was the woman who was made for Tommy Lee. Before Eve, Lilith was the woman who was made for Adam. Adam later went on to do time in jail and videotape himself frolicking with Eve. Somehow the tape got out of the Garden of Eden and was widely copied and distributed. Oh, oh yeah, they left a lot of stuff out of the Bible. Player three, it's all on your shoulders. Buzz in and get... Okay, give it up for... My first love. Okay, you ready for this question? 39.97 is on the table. Here it is. What should be the first thing you think of when you think of Stephen first? He was that doctor on ER. He was that priest on Amen. He was that cop in the dream. All yours, player one. He played Flounder in the movie Animal House. Huh, I learn something every day around here. I thought he was the beaver on Leave it to Beaver. Player one, please buzz in and let us know how much this Okie doke, let's check out the category. Jerry Mathers, not Stephen First, as the beaver. You know, many folks think of the Cleavers from Leave it to Beaver as the typical nuclear family. Keeping that in mind... If Wally decides to enact a first strike policy against the beaver, what will he do? Tell on beaver after he throws food at dinner, get Eddie Haskell to spy on beaver, wait till beaver hits him first, hit him back, or find all of beaver's water balloons and pop them. Player one. A first strike policy is where you wipe out your enemy's weapons before they have a chance to use them. Now, Wally, it wasn't very nice to incapacitate your brother's strategic defense systems, now was it? Go to your room. Player one, buzz in and choose a bed. I finished ahead of you and now I'm gonna raise ya. Welcome to first! That's the last time I'm gonna say that. Okay, I'm gonna give you a rundown on how this works. You're gonna see some puzzles. When you think you figured out the answer to a puzzle, wait until the first letter of your answer lights up, and then that's it. If you get it right, you pocket $500, and you collect that letter. But you lose $500 whenever you get it wrong. Be the first one to collect all the letters, and you take home a bonus. Okay, you with me? Hope so, cause we're going. Grand Slam Tennis Open. Yo, wake up! What's the first letter? To win two consecutive titles. Test Champ Deep Blues Maker. IBM, hit this place again. World's most popular sport. Winners get a blue one. A blue ribbon. The Heisman is a what? Trophy. Horse racing's top achievement. Triple crown. Of triathlons. Super Bowl sport. Star! Fast cars see the checkered what? Flag. NHL Championship Cup. Lord Stanley. Championship Jewelry! Ring! Run her away from the bonus player three. The winner drinks milk! Drink up! Player one pulls up! America's Cup Sport! Sailing! Where sled dogs are champions! Unbeatable bowling score! 300! You got it! First! Player 3!
Siri, can you say bonus? Well, for the time being, player one, you're on top. Player two, pick us a question value. I think we can work with that, and here's your category. Did Howard Cosell work for Century 21? Let's see that question. If your real estate agents were with the first estate, what would you expect them to wear? Habits, investments, press badges, and reporter. Player one, hit it. This just in. You're wrong. <laughs> player two, player three. Player three, make it happen. So, how'd you like the house? I really loved it. Does the pool come with a hooter? <laughs> I mean, heater. <laughs> make player two, grab it. During the old regime in France, clergy was referred to as the first estate. So, you're not married, but you're looking for a one-bedroom apartment. Hmm, let's see. I've got some places in hell I can show you. Player two, what's this one gonna be worth? It's your I like to call this category... Chivalry isn't dead, but these authors sure are. And right this way, please. If each of the following writers came to a doorway at the same time and someone called out, Ladies first! It would get to walk through the door first. Ezra Pound, George Collier... Oh, player one! Well, player two... Two, huh? Alright. George Elliott was the pen name of Marianne Evans. Pen name? Why would you name your pen? Hey, player one, looks like you're the one who's screwed. Okay, player two, grab a question value, Buzz. Could I interest you in some roadkill? All right, let me tell you how this game works. I'm gonna show you various pairs of things that are somehow related, and you're gonna get a bunch of items that may or may not connect the pair. You gotta buzz in to select the item you think correctly joins the two. I'll give you a grand if you're correct, but beware, you lose a thousand every time you're wrong. And at the end, there's gonna be a bonus question worth some bonus cash. Pay attention to all the correct answers, and you might have a shot at the bonus. You got that? Good, let's motor. Little tiny bet and homophone of hair. What's the common link between these two? Blue is Blank Royal, and RC is Royal Blank Cola. <laughs> Eccentrics, and Cereal Frosted Blank. Little Rascal Darla's surname and thug. Resell tickets for a profit and supposedly collected by Native Americans. Score! Puppet on South Park, Mr. Blank, and Cat in the Blank. Snap that bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all fashion first? Seven biggest U.S. banks. Famous inventions. Things made out of lead. Things found out of... Now you're talking player one. Count it. Nice job. Let's move ahead, shall we? So, player one's in the lead. All right, let's see how long this lasts. 
player one, hit your buzzer and select a bell. Well, it's, it's a start. Uh, anyway. Whose older brother isn't creepy? Hey, take a look at the following song lyrics. When you know the missing word, buzz in and start typing. No, my first name ain't Baby, it's Janet. Miss Jackson, if you're. Buzz in and type the missing word when you know it. Yeah, let's see what you got, player one. Type in your answer and hit return. Come on, tap those. Hey, not everybody can be right, just the winners. <laughs> Player two, player three. Show us how it's done, player three. Type in. How do you say, um, no? Player two, it's yours. Go for it, player two. Type in your answer and hit. It's Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. I wonder what you get to call her if you're slightly cantankerous. Well, old man? I don't have a canker sore. What? It's up to you, player three. Hit your buzzer to select a value. Your category is... First class loser. All right, picture this. You're on an airliner and the flight's really crowded, so you get bumped into first class. Just don't talk to anybody, all right, because they don't really like your type up there. Now, as you're trying to stow your carry-on luggage, the flight attendant asks you if you'd like anything. If you tell her, just a sec, what might she bring you? An incredibly good-looking escort? I'll take a Rehop. Let's see it. See, it's not always one of the wacky answers. So you know what suck means. Good for you, but if you really want to belong in first class, stop sticking the peanuts in your ears. Nice work, player two. You just screwed yourself. Player three wants this one worth two. You buzz in and shoot. Here's your category. The history of hanging ten. You ready? Let's go. If the guy you had a hit with surfing USA in 1977 sang about the first explorer to hit the shores of the Americas in 1002, what pair would you have? John Schneider and John Cabot, Christopher Cross and Christopher Columbus, Leif Garrett and Leif Erikson, or Sean Cassidy and Sean Ryder? Player one. Leif and Leif. Yeah, I sure remember that Leif Erikson poster I had in my junior high locker. Oh, hold on a sec. And, uh, I don't mean the dry champagne. <laughs> oh, God, I killed myself. Oh, my God! Oh, sweet Jesus! It's the Viking attack! Everyone run for your lives! And look, you saved the O's. What? The Vikings are stealing the O's. Screw you! I'm just trying to save myself in here! Jesus, was it something I said about Leif Erikson? Well, that's the first time I've ever been attacked by Vikings. <clears throat> I've got a few scrapes here and there, but other than that, I'm fine. Oh, look! Somebody left behind a funny helmet! Player one, you have the honors. Coming up! First one to whip out their whip wins! Oh, that's great. The Vikings took our nice, round, familiar O's and left us with these scary and un-American O's. Oh, well. Because he was first cast to play the hero in Raiders of the Lost Ark, who is the lost Indiana Jones? Tom Selleck, Bruce Willis, David Duchovny, or Pierce Brosnan? Up to you. Okay, play. The selection is two, all right. No, Bruce was too busy back then launching his singing career. <laughs> Player two, player three, who's going for it? Buzz in! Player two, grab it! Hello? Oh, there you are. Thought I lost you. Tom Selleck was originally cast as Indy, but didn't do it because he was already committed to Magnum P.I. Gotta admire someone who puts art before commercial success. All right, player two, buzz in, give us a value. Well, 
Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. The artists formerly known as... Remember, the match has to follow the clue. Good luck. Player one, it must be such a thrill for you to beat two people who can't break zero. Congratulations. <laughs> Tune in this week as five frosty finalists compete for the title of World's Strongest Snowman. The crane is lowering the 200-pound corncob pipe into Snowball Bob's mouth. It's in place. Oh! Snowball Bob just couldn't hang on to it. Okay, the coal truck is backed up right beside Mr. Shivers. And here comes the coal out of the dump chute. Oh! It looks like Mr. Shivers did not hold up very well. Carrot Nose will attempt to wrestle this polar bear. Ouch! The bear has taken a bite out of his carroty nose. He should have used a button. The world's strongest snowman competition. Are you snowman enough? Everyone, we have a guest today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, hello, my name's, uh... Hugh Rection. Mm, Mr. Rection, this is a safe environment. Tell us your full name. Fine, it's Hugh G. Rection, all right? But you know, I never use the G. Hi, Hugh G. Rection! Oh, hi! Hello, my name is Mike Hunt, and I'm one of thousands of people who've suffered through life with an unfortunate name. But finally, there's hope, thanks to Merkin Counseling Centers. When I first came to Merkin, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, it's always scary when I tell people my name is Ivana Tinkle, but I had no idea I'd be in a group with a Jack Meoff or a Buster Cherry um, my, or My name Anna is Lincoln. Harry Balsack. I'm Eileen Dover. I'm Eileen's husband, Ben Dover. Hugh Jazz. Hello, my name is Jacques Strap. Anita Get Laid. We're all equal. All of us are equal. Every one of us. IP Daily. I'm a hog. Howard M. Mellons. Jenny Talia. I'm Seymour Butts. Tara Hamstring. Dick Hertz. I own a dildo. Merkin Counseling Centers. If you have an unfortunate name, don't murder your parents. Get some help. Tonight on Investigative Copy. Until recently, this sleepy Ohio town was primarily known as a test market for Olestra products. Now, religious fanatics are making a pilgrimage here to witness the miraculous weeping anus. I, I was just watching TV and I felt a, a rumbling in my gut. I tried to make it to the toilet, but well, there it was. It's beautiful. I think it's a sign from God. There are no words to describe this man's wondrous anus, blessed by our Holy Savior. But is it really a sign from God? I've been here for three days, and the anus seems to weep at regular intervals. But they're almost too regular. I actually...